The Zags and the KXY4 sports team are in Chicago tonight ahead of Friday's matchup with Sarah Hughes in the Sweet 16. Keith Oso and Sarah Wheeler are live in Chicago. And they join us now, yeah, guys. You look a little soggy out there. Us? Are you? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. The Windy City, also Chicago, of course. The rain's coming down. The wind's coming down. It was snow last week, so... This is an upgrade of sorts. Kind of. Kinda. Still, still not very great. But yeah. you know what? The beauty is they play basketball inside. So, so we're, yeah, we're looking forward to that. <laughs> of course, two days out from the Sweet 16, Gonzaga and Syracuse, two of the powerhouses really in the country, but a 10 and 11 seed, really a spot they're not used to being in. Well, you might wonder, what do these two teams have in common? Well, they have one thing in common. That little number next to them didn't make them very happy on Selection Sunday. And they have something in common that two weeks ago, people around the country didn't think either one of them would be in this tournament. Well, they're still playing basketball in the Sweet 16. And they think the reason why is because they have that same chip on their shoulder. A lot of people trying to get out in the tournament. I know that they were on the bubble, and I know that they want to show people that they belong in the tournament, which they obviously do because they're in the Sweet 16. So it's going to be a hard-fought game. It's going to be real physical and aggressive just because we both know we have something to prove. Yeah, I mean, it just goes to show that anything can happen in the tourney. Um, every team that's in there is a very good team, and, and anybody can beat anybody on even, any given day. And, um, so both of us have been able to do that so far. Yeah, don't get confused with the, well, they beat a three seed, they should walk over a 10 seed. That doesn't matter. It's all about how does Gonzaga match up with Syracuse, and that 2-3 zone can be really tough, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we're looking forward to that, of course. Tomorrow, the open workouts, we'll talk to the Zags, see how they're feeling just a day out from their Sweet 16 matchup. Tonight for us, deep dish pizza. Absolutely. So we're going to have videos on Facebook and Twitter, <laughs> so stay tuned. We'll make you jealous, I'm sure. For now, though, for Keith Oso, I'm Sarah Wheeler, reporting live in Chicago, KXOY 4 Sports. All right. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, Sarah. Getting the deep dish on tonight. You'll have to let us know how it goes. Send me a slice. Yeah, it'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and we can follow our sports team, and you can do it as well as you head to Twitter and Facebook when our newscasts aren't on. You can just search for their names on Instagram and all their hijinks and insights into the Zags as they head to the Sweet 16 will be there.